In a letter, including a demand list for the PGA Tour's future that was delivered to Monaghan on Monday, a group of more than 40 players, led by Woods, according to several reports. Monaghan quickly consented to those demands, which included adding Woods as the sixth player director to the PGA Tour policy board and giving players the first option on all provisions of a definitive agreement with the PIF. The modifications guarantee that Monaghan and the Tour's non-player board members cannot act unilaterally on behalf of players without their knowledge, as they did when creating the framework agreement with the PIF. They also give players a voting majority on PGA Tour issues moving forward. In a statement issued by the Tour, he stated, The players applaud Commissioner Monaghan for agreeing to address our issues. We are eager to get down with them and discuss the best course of action for the future of the game we all like. However, it didn't take a linguist to grasp the underlying message. Woodson led a revolt to retake control of golf's biggest professional tour from its non-playing leadership, which was possibly his bravest act as a professional player. The new pact made Monaghan helpless to negotiate a binding contract with the Saudis without their assistance. The players, on the other hand, now possess the full force of negotiation authority together with Colin Neville's advice and knowledge as a longtime supporter of Team Golf and recently appointed special advisor. A tectonic shift in the power dynamics of professional golf may be seen in the new structure, but perhaps it wasn't supposed to come as a surprise, especially not in light of Wood's own remarks during the previous 18 months. Woods, like many of his colleagues, believes that Monaghan betrayed their trust by negotiating their future behind their backs. They believe that this betrayal can never happen again and won't now either. Woods remarked, It is a privilege to represent the PGA Tour athletes. The players will make every effort to ensure that any changes made to the Tour's operations are in the best interests of all stakeholders, including fans, sponsors and other players, as this is a crucial time for the Tour.